Hey, Utuniverse, Alex here. Last time we looked at archaea, bacteria, and eukaryotes. Now, even though archaea and bacteria continue to get more and more complex, eukarya is where we are. So eukarya is where we're going to continue to look. I'm super excited to continue on with this story. Let's get right into it. Any eukaryote organism that reproduces using a gamete that has two flagella falls into the category Biconta. At this most basic early stage, these were Archaeoplastidae, red and green algae, and Chromiovolata like brown algae and kelp. As what seems to be the first eukaryotic organisms based on all known research, it originally contained some interesting parasitic characters. But as these continue to grow in number, a new classification seemed to be needed. So those that didn't fully fit in Biconta and had some resemblance to Uniconta characteristics became the new supergroup. Excavata was generally made up of parasitic and symbiotic forms. This group includes photosynthetic euglenosa, the bacteria-like mitochondrial genome of Jacoba, termite parasites, oxymonads, giardia, and trichomonas. I'm going to let you guys look those ones up yourself. I'm going to stay away from that one. Even though these share many of the final group's characteristics, the lack of a singular flagella and having flagella prevented them from falling into the classification of Uniconta consists of animals and fungus, all life that reproduces with a gamete with a singular flagella or no flagella. Every animal and fungus falls into the domain eukaryote within the supergroup Uniconta. And every animal and fungus that reproduces this way will continue to do so. From the very first, to you and your children, you will always create a eukaryote unicorn. But since a unicorn will always be a eukaryote, you're just a unicorn. So now we have a good place to stop at unicorn. If you really like this video, let me know. Click the like button, comment down below. I try my best to answer everybody's responses or just have a conversation with me. I'm fine with that as well. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments section below as well. Don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the notification button. I've got a lot more videos on this topic to continue doing. This has been Understanding Taxonomy, Episode 2, Unicont. Have a fantastic day and never stop learning more. See ya.